Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hedge and Lee with a morning update for Bitcoin. All right. So last night we left off with, um, I'm sorry, yesterday in the midday we left off with Bitcoin putting in the subwaves, the five wave subwaves of three. And I had discussed maybe the possibility of a capitulation phase to be happening. The first landing zone I have put in this cloud of support. Right in that zone. And the second cloud of support and landing zone potential is right here. <clears throat> in this zone of support. Having said that, it becomes critical to see where the subwaves are landing. And for that, I'm now going to zoom into one hour. We have one. Two, we may have three, four done, and five should be starting. Now, there is a likelihood, a scenario, where wave three, the blue wave three, is too short. There is that likelihood. You can go here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it alone for what it is. One is very long. That means three should be 1.618 of this. So if we draw a vertical line, so far, there's one. Point six one eight of one lands to heal. And I'm only eyeballing the point six one eight. So one is never in the time, never the length of the time it takes, it's always in the price height. You measure the travel of the price, never the time. The length, time it takes has nothing to do with it. <clears throat> it is a height in time that you measure the length of the waving. I think that's pretty important. A lot of people get that confused. Just because wave two climbs maybe 50 points, but it takes three weeks to do it, doesn't mean it's longer than <clears throat> wave three, which takes a day to go 100 points. You measure everything in the height of the price. This distance of the price traveled. So here is where that lands. If this is correct, then most likely wave three is not done. Then most likely we'll have to move wave five, three, and four. Everything has to move to the right now because time has elapsed. So this is the distance and measurement that I used. Okay, now, that means I will bring wave five down to the next landing zone. Which will be at 7227. This is now my alternate count.
we'll get a bounce then for wave four, and then one more down for wave five. So now wave three will be more than, well, I'm sorry, wave three will be 1.618, which is a Fibonacci, 30, um, probably a 38% retrace for four, wave four <coughs> and wave five. In this case, you can almost say you have a semi-extended one, even though three is still the longer one. And that would be okay. Now, I guess the bullish alternate scenario would be Eighty one to four. However, if you want to consider wave one as extended, I wouldn't. Uh, three, four, and five will be 0.618 of that or 0.78. But I, I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't put that as a top priority. That would pretty much mean that the bottom is in. But I believe this is likely to become the primary pathway. Let's see how it goes. We see a bounce <clears throat> down, bounce down. Everything is on the way up. It'll be two step forward, one step back. And the inverse of that, reverse of that, two step down, one step up for a correction. And wave C has one, two, three, four, five. The key point is how long this five will be. And this is when I'll be really counting my subways at degree, different degrees of trends. All right, so keep calm. There's no need to panic. <clears throat> this is a correction. And it is during the corrections when, ideally, if you have cash at hand, when you pick out the landing zones of your buy region. And I'll be going a little more into the detail of that as we get closer to those zones. All right, have a great day. I hope I have earned the right to ask you for the consideration of your upvotes. I'm continuing to get a lot of views per hour. My follower numbers have well exceeded the 17,000 <clears> right now, despite the haters even now resorting to racist insults and cartoons and comments and whatever. It, it, it's just amazing how <clears throat> these haters will just hate you for what you are. <laughs> and, and I do understand as soon as anyone gets any kind of level of visibility that comes with the territory. The only thing I would ask my followers to do is not tolerate that. And see that as a the most lowest level of action that the haters can take. And I'm pretty certain that all my followers will agree with me on that. All right, thank you and have a great day. Now, I just want to mention, because the days are getting closer, we will have a few spots left that you consider going to this site, cryptocurrencytrends.info. For group coaching with Hedgen, I am holding my very first ever group coaching session, and it'll cover the basics and more in depth of Elliott Wave and chart pattern recognition and the future forward pricing of price pathways. And that website will be right here. <clears throat> and here you can go, it's under January 20th at 11 a.m for an hour and a half. 
you can go to this site, the site I gave you, to register. <clears throat> the other announcement I want to make is I have a new Chrome extension. You can go to that same website on the top of the page. And if you're not on the Twitter, if you want maybe an additional alert system as to whenever I write a new post, download my extension and follow the instructions here. And when I, whenever I post you're on Google Chrome, you'll get a window coming up with a new post alert notice with the title of that new post. And you can click on it, and that'll take you right to it. One of my clients made this for me, and I'm very grateful for that. All right, that's it for today. Thank you, and have a great day.